I'm Matt Madison. This is Keep Canada. I'm out here in BC in a forest. Check this out. I got a chainsaw. I'm going to cut this tree down because I need to stay warm. I got a sauna to heat. It's not even a sauna. It's an oven surrounded by a box. I'm going to explore BC for what it really is. A beautiful, lush piece of Canada. So you know I had some reservations about coming to Vancouver. It's always raining. I don't like rain too much, but there's a lot of beautiful people out here that I want to connect with. One being Shira from the Acorn. I met Shira years ago when I was out west touring with a bunch of bands. So this is your turnip top emulsion, turnip subi sauce. The light brown in there is the caramelized weight. It's a house made ricotta and snap peas. It's an amazing restaurant. It's not a vegan restaurant, it's a vegetarian restaurant. I haven't done a lot of stuff with vegetarian chefs and I think being old friends with her, I'm a little biased, but she, she's doing something that's uh, inspiring to us using local produce, pushing the limits, making and elevating uh, vegetarian food and not just making tempeh or these mock meat. She's using vegetables. Okay, well this is like Paul's kale. Paul's kale. Oh my goodness. Shira brought us to meet this guy, Paul. He is the owner and main farmer, forager, fucking crazy guy at Hannibrook Farms. We're in a big bend in South Burnaby, uh, about three kilometers from Vancouver. This is an organic farm that uh, I grow about 160 varieties of microgreens, as well as uh, 12 and 15 vegetables here. Hannibrook Farms supplies the acorn with beautiful produce. The watercress is looking real fast. We got uh, dinosaur skin kales, rainbow chard. Let's grab some for our salads. We're 15 minutes from downtown on the Sky Train, so it's, yeah. a, it's a really ideal place for us to uh, do our very fast pick, go right to the city type product. Bringing stuff to the Acorn. Acorn directly, like Sky Train. So you're even. picking this stuff within 20 minutes, you can have fresh sorrel, beautiful 20 different kinds of varieties of vegetables. Like that's an amazing thing. So at your restaurant, The Acorn, you guys use a lot of vegetarian stuff, obviously vegetables. Yeah, well, Paul comes in usually 5 o'clock right before we open with a basket full of kale and salad greens and other veg that we feature on our harvests and uh, on our menu. So our menu is constantly changing because we like to sort of highlight what's in season. You're letting the purveyor, the farmers, almost like not write the menu, but as yeah. they bring you these fresh vegetables every day, you can just create. Yeah, what's growing is kind of dictating what our menu is. Absolutely. Which is exciting and fun and, you know, makes our chefs think fast. Yeah. <laughs> Paul was described to me as a hippie who hates wearing shoes and it turns out he was way weirder than that. So recently here at Hannah Brook, there's been a little bit of an incident. Can you tell us about that? I was called uh, by the fire department to tell me that my salad shack building, which was over here, where I washed the salad with the sink, uh, was on fire. Uh, There's also a Chevy cargo van here as well, was, uh, someone put a gas tank and blew up. Five days later, they came back. After they had burned down a house and a bar in the same neighborhood, they came back and burned down my tractor building. And, I mean, what an asshole. What, what an asshole. And the craziest thing, the city manager was here on site. You know, he, he had some, uh, a handful of stories. He's like, there's a dead body in the ditch right there. You better get out of here. Uh, let's take those with a grain of salt, everyone. It's like literally one foot from my driveway, hands bound, face down in the ditch. Because you're always but you, a suspect. You, you I bounce. just took off. Yeah. So like, I had I to mean, make some pickles. Yeah. Someone has to have the job of picking that thing out of there, too. The thing. Yeah. The human. Shout out Vancouver foraging for dead bodies here on Keep It Canada. Woo woo! <laughs> what the fuck was that story? <laughs> We're gonna go check out the other farm. This one's got some bad fucking juju, man. It's got good lettuce, but it's crazy. So we went to another part of his farm uh, where he was talking about he had these big pigs. These were giant fucking pigs out of Middle Earth. 
They were the biggest pigs I ever saw. They're just waking up, a little pig piggies. Oh. Oh. Do you like it or no? I don't know what that's noise. Positive? Is it good? So I was a little nervous, you know, so I was giving a scratch. Piggy smelled like Cheetos. Didn't smell good. Just pig dander. Does he like this? Oh, I don't know. They were big, man. Like those those mouths and that that jaw power. Ow! <laughs> I got some fried chicken. Come here, baby. This is the all-inclusive life. Just feeding my little piggies the fried chicken that they deserve. I think I'm good. It's giving me anxiety. We hiked up to the foot of the mountains for a salmon picnic lunch in the woods. So I told you it's rustic. It's great. Did you try the pork crackly? Not yet, chef. We're out here in Ruskin. We got my boy Paul. We got the beautiful lady, Shira. We got a bunch of different kind of salmons. We brought some uh, shitty fried chicken, some uh, sauerkraut some beautiful salads. We got one apple, one apple for everyone. Everyone gets a bite and then the apple is done. Did you eat the crackling yet? No, okay. Thank you. Rice. That crackling is from right there. I raised those pigs right on the other side. Your crackling's the soft though. Should be crunchy. So this crackling came from your pigs? Yeah, Prince Charles and George Foreman. Prince Charles and George Foreman, everyone. Yeah, they were about 500 pounds, but let's talk about that later. Right, it's a very painful topic. I need something to drink. Do we have water? Is that water? There's a spring right there. There was a freshwater spring a few meters away from where we were. Okay, so here we got the Fountain of Youth. We got 6,000 year old spring here in the side of the mountain. See, where I come from in Toronto, no bueno. You don't drink the water. You don't even go to the beach. Now we're gonna drink water out of something that looks pretty, pretty sus. A lot of rusty stuff. It's really nice. Best What's water there? on the planet, right there. Got my beak down there, started pecking away at that water, and uh, it was delicious, you know? It, you look younger already. I feel younger. BC Champagne. Ain't gonna get no diarrhea from that. Okay. Expensive mineral water can go fuck itself. Best in the world. Then uh, after lunch, we wanted to have a little relax, you know, wanted to get to know Paul, and I got to meet Paul really well. Does <laughs> <laughs> so have a sock? You know, hey man, you do you. The sauna is more of a cedar room around an oven. We're just here being buddies, you know, two dudes just being in the sauna together. And this is what it is, you know? He's growing biodynamic, biodynamic fucking vegetables, and he lives the life. Fuck! Put a fucking towel on and deal with it. Jesus, Murphy. You know what? You could go lay in the spring. The way that you're doing everything is like your style. The product, it stands on its own feet, you know? Like this, this is just a glimpse into like, I know what is a very crazy life and what you've done. And um, I want to thank you for that, man. Yeah, live in the now. Live in the now. Ooh, 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 ooh. Shout out to the sock on his dick. It was great living that rural farming life, but I'm a city guy. I need to get back into Vancouver to crush some Asian food. Got to meet up with some of my best friends who I used to tour with. They're in a band called Lady Hawk. I do not play any music. I would be in their van and I would get drunk, maybe load gear, maybe sell some merch. Most of the time they didn't let me do anything. So we're about to start eating the fuck out of Vancouver. Our first stop on this trip is May Nam. Me, Ryan, Darce, check us out. We're gonna go eat some food. There is a massive Asian community out here in Vancouver and it is thriving with amazing restaurants that are doing super fucking tasty food. Alrighty, so we have some Thai style crispy chicken wings and here we have a dung ka coconut mushroom soup with free range chicken and the stir fried black pepper crab. Chef Mike. Hi. How are you? How are you? Thank you so much. You're welcome. The meal was unbelievable. Thank you. It's spicy, it's sweet, it's tangy, it's acidic. So where'd you learn how to be such an amazing chef? Uh, I came to Canada like probably like 10 years ago. I'm from Thailand, obviously. Came here to study and then eventually go to culinary school. And then we actually learned how to cook Thai food. Because I know the palate, I know what it is, I know how it tastes like, but I never know how to make it. So you knew the flavors, you knew it was yeah. spicy, creamy. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Thailand, like street food is everywhere. So right. Nobody is not that many people cook at home. So we yeah. just go out and eat, right? All right. Here we have a braised beef shortbread curry. That's the Penang style. Last but not least, we have the three flavor pork rib stir fry with garlic, oil, ginger, coriander. Fresh baby corn, so there's some fresh green peppercorns on the stem there. Like, there's no Thai food like this, like in Toronto. That's oh. for sure. Let's hope so. And it's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because like, this motherfucker can cook. <laughs> all the all the team here. It's not yeah. Just me, yeah. It's 100. This is a meal not to be missed. This is an incredible restaurant. Everything is so tasty. These guys don't even say anything because they're so hungry. Calm down. My friends are so dumbfounded by the flavors that they have in their mouth that they cannot speak. Thank you for being on my show. These motherfuckers are cooking the best shit. I love these dudes. Chef Mike and his crew, these dudes are legit. <laughs> so we just had some amazing Thai food, and now we gotta move on and eat some more food here in Vancouver. It's amazing. That guy's running to the spot. And now we're here at Peaceful. We got a new dude hanging out with us. This is Kevin. This guy's the best guy in the world. And we got the big guy right here, the big pop pop, Mr. Guy. The best chef probably in the entire world or universe. Whatever fucking dimension you live in, this guy's the best. Toronto has an amazing Chinatown, especially north of the city in Markham. But Vancouver's mix of Chinese, Japanese, and Thai makes their dining scene particularly diverse, authentic, and completely awesome. Okay, like that, okay. Yeah, yeah. So you gotta snap it. No good. Learning quickly. And then she's making like the shells here. What's in the filling? Bok choy and the chive and the pork and the green onion, ginger. It's a skill, she's been doing this for how long? How long have you been doing this? Uh, almost 20 years. Yeah! <laughs> Why are you laughing? Why is she laughing? The more and more I do this show, all I do is feel that I don't know anything about cooking. Okay, thank you so thank much. You. I'm gonna go eat now. Oh, yeah, go ahead. We got the potato cake. We got the Dan Dan noodles. Unbelievable hand pulled noodles fresh. We got the pork and chive dumplings. These are the ones that I just made. These are the good stuffs. We got the Shaolin Bao. Every six years or so, I come to Vancouver to eat Asian food with my good buddies and Lady Hawk. This time is no different. I'm eating and they're being quiet. Peaceful restaurant right here, making some delicious, authentic, beautiful Chinese food. So we just ate at Peaceful. It was unbelievable. Amazing soup, bows, everything incredible. I don't know, I'm full as fuck. I wanna go to the hotel and wash my toes. My other good buddy, he's also in Lady Hawk, Sean. He got to come pick me up on his little dirt bike. We're gonna go shopping down at the Granville Market. I'm gonna get a bunch of really good seafood and some produce to cook for these assholes. But to not. Bottom down! <laughs> I think we bottomed out a few times. Me and Sean, my John Connor. We went to go pick up a bunch of uh, seafood and some greens and produce. Yeah, we'll get the one salmon, two of those. I just wanted to get a bunch of fish. We got some oysters and then I'll get some uh, kumamotos. What's your favorite? The kushi? Maybe we'll get some kushi. We'll get these and then we'll get some kushi too. They're getting really good produce here all year round. Then I'll some fucking kohlrabi, some daikon, some fucking rapini. Sean's gonna ride up to Whistler. We need to keep the fish cold so the fresh mountain air will keep that cold as he's driving two, two and a half hours up the mountain. I'll see you up there, buddy. Oh yeah. <laughs> I can't come to Vancouver without stopping by the Granville Island Market. It's like going to Whistler and not skiing or snowboarding, which is exactly what I did. 
We headed up to the ski village. This place is ground zero for Australian ski boards, snow babes. It's crazy up here. I've never been to a ski resort. I don't understand that culture, but you know, we, we went there and there was a massive snowstorm. So we're going up to like 1800 meters. We're gonna go tubing. I'm very excited to go tubing. I've been made physically to go tubing. Um, Darcy's really excited, you can tell. This is us in our element. You wanna see somebody in their fucking element? This is it. My ears are popping. Who's got bubble gum? <laughs> I wore the wrong clothes today, so this is amazing. I don't know, I'm wearing sneakers up here like an asshole. Now we gotta walk over to the peak to peak. We were gonna do the peak to peak, but then that got cut out because it was snowing so crazy. The gondola can't take it. The storm's too much. If we were to get in any trouble, it'd turn into a Liam Nielsen movie really quick. We'd have to fight wolves with knives on our fingers. But we're gonna just chill and go tubing. So complicated. Tubing is pretty much the best Olympic sport that's ever been created. He says lane four is the best. Are we good? Tart? Push! Loose! Harder, boys! My dreams are fulfilled. I'm now a man, born anew on top of the Whistler Mountain. So we're here in the beautiful Whistler, BC. I'm at this amazing chalet. Shout out to the person who gave it to us for a hundred bucks. Thank you very much. But now we're gonna cook and make a really big mess. Today, we're gonna be cooking some beautiful stuff and serving some stuff raw. We got a beautiful salmon here that we got today. I'm gonna to take the head off of this and then we're gonna glaze this. I'm gonna make a glaze with some, some oranges, chilies, a little bit of some maple syrups. We're gonna glaze that nicely, take care of that, make it sticky and spicy and yummy. The way that I'm doing things may excite you guys because it's just so quick. And then we're gonna fillet this beautiful salmon. Super janky, I just butchered that fish insanely. And we're gonna make a little yuzu Yuzu is a Japanese citrus juice. Pretty much just making a nice vinaigrette. We're gonna make some different kind of little peppers cut up and we're gonna just do like a sashimi kind of thing. Look at this shit. We're gonna take a kohlrabi. Do you guys know what kohlrabi is? It's like a giant white radish. It kind of looks like an alien orb. And we're gonna take daikon and we're gonna braise those down and they get super sweet and super yummy with like a soy sauce. We're gonna add some ginger, some lemongrass, and then we're, we're gonna shuck some oysters, get this party going. It's starting to smell good in here, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And then I'm just gonna put the, just the kohlrabi in the soup. It's gonna be super yummy. And we got some little baby trouts. Uh, we roasted a whole steelhead, really nice. Finally, it's done. Now I get to share this experience with all of the people that I love here in BC. I'm gonna enjoy this food with these dudes and the babe. It wasn't like a real sit down kind of meal. It was just like everyone's just like digging into these bowls and eating and slurping. That's good, right? That's so good, dude. You know, like we're out here, this is like a crazy fucking world. They got mountains and fog. Jeez. There's fucking monster pigs out here. This is a feast brought to you by BC. I love BC, so should you. Ah. Thanks, Maddie. To all the BC buds out there, world peace. Keep it Canada. What? Shout out to the sock on his dick.